Hey guys, welcome back. So hello, hello if you're new, my name is Sarah and I make lots of shop with me and decor videos. I also make lots of clean with me, um, cook with me, what's for dinner, um, decor, decorating videos, plus size fashion, beauty, all of that stuff, lifestyle, mommy videos. So if any of that strikes your fancy, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below and joined our little family. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you um, followed me on Instagram at Sarah England. And today we are doing a shop with me at Hobby Lobby. Look at that, look at that. I thought it was down. The life of growing out of pixie. Today we are doing a shop with me at Hobby Lobby, checking out their spring and Valentine's Day stuff. I love Hobby Lobby spring decor because it's not like overly springy. It's not just complete pastels. A lot of it's really neutral. So it's a really great time to get like a lot of pieces to just kind of update your home that aren't specifically a seasonal piece. Um, and all their cute Valentine's Day stuff is out. Yesterday we actually came. So you may see a couple little snippets of yesterday's video in here. And we came in yesterday. It was just me and Eleanor and um, they were still putting out everything. Normally they're like way ahead of the game, but this year they were not. So, or I'm just normally, I'm just totally off of my schedules. I don't know. Anyway, so I decided to come back and I'm sure they're gonna be like, oh look, there's that crazy lady with the camera coming back. But we're here and let's see what we can find. Hopefully everything's out. I have Eleanor with me. I have Ollie with me. And I have my mom with me. So we're gonna go and we're going to shop. All right, first off, these little pink chairs are the cutest freaking things ever, and my little girls love them, but they're like $100 and just way too expensive, and we have no room, but they're really cute. We are starting in the Valentine's Day section. Um, they have so many cute things this year. It's something that I really appreciate because I really want more like actual Valentine's Day decor, and I feel like Hobby Lobby's really bringing it this year. They have a lot of really cute things, and I'm excited just to see how they further progress in that area, and um, like what next year will look like, and all of that stuff. But a lot of it was really cute. A lot of it was kind of like cheesy, but isn't that what Valentine's Day is? I love it. I love all the cheese ball and the corn stuff I'm totally there for it all um, but they just had a lot of really cute things like those little flags that was I'll tell you about later and show you later um, and a lot of like galvanized metal pieces and a ton of banners and a lot of those like little beaded um, I don't know beaded tassel things that I see a lot of people doing on their tiered trays a lot of mugs you see those little houses down there those go by so fast I recommend them if you're interested I also love the towels I think Hobby Lobby has really really cute towels and I love giving towels as gifts to teachers or coaches or moms or whatnot my mom always gives me towels for every new season so maybe that's why I love them but I think towels are so useful and they're super cute and it's fun to have a little something to decorate your kitchen with or I put them in my bathroom or my bar cart or what have you once again those houses I had to get them I now have two <laughs> um, they have of course tons of stuff little picks and things to decorate planters with and wreaths with and all sorts of stuff I mean that's not normally my jam but you know if it's yours they have a lot of cute things this year they also had a lot of St. Patrick's Day stuff as you can tell they have a lot of crafts and like party decor but they also had a lot of actual like substantial pieces for decorations too which I was really excited about um, you'll see here in just a second they had a lot of like little wooden um, decoration items and like really cute things as well. So if you really like to decorate for every season like I do and like my family has always done, they have some cute stuff. So I'm really excited to see what that also progresses into. Like look at all the cute little banners and little leprechauns and four leaf clovers. It's just so cute and like a little fun way to bring like spring into your house and St. Patrick's Day and like not to go crazy but it's just so cute. I loved it. I was really excited to see that. A lot of like little vintage pieces I'm excited to see kind of like next year if they broaden that range as well if it does well um, but none of that stuff was on sale yet I'm assuming that will all go on sale as um, 
Valentine's Day approaches and it passes and stuff. My kids love Hobby Lobby, as you can see. Like, they love it. They love to go in and find the decorations and stuff. I love doing it. I don't know if any other kid loves it. I normally know kids in there. Like, most kids are crying and wanting to go home. Then I hear my kids are, like, soaking it up. They love to go to Hobby Lobby. But once again, adorable towels. I showed you a couple of these already. But, I mean, they're just so cute. I can't get enough of them. I want all of them. They also had a really cute table runners um, that could easily transition into spring, even a couple of pillows. Um, I really like that galvanized love sign. I should have gotten it. I didn't actually get it because I didn't think I needed it, but I may go back and get it because I think it'll add a little bit of something something to my mantle area as well. Um, but I just loved all the little pieces. I love these little hearts. And yeah, I mean, it, they're just hitting it. They're just getting better and better. Hobby Lobby, like I never, I never will not go, you know? <laughs> They also had still quite a bit of Christmas stuff. Everything was 90% off. And it's always good to kind of like plan ahead. Like I love this, these little mid-century modern houses. I should have gotten one. Um, I loved them when they first came out and now that they were 90% off, totally worth it. But just to kind of stock up for next year, I love doing that stuff. I normally go to Target immediately after um, like Halloween or Thanksgiving and stuff and just get the stuff that's on clearance in Christmas time because it'll be new for you next year and it's still really cute and exciting but it was super cheap. Um, I loved the spring stuff this year. So many cute things. Once again, the towels get me every time. But they had so many beautiful, like, just pastels. I loved the creamy pastels that they had. So many new beautiful plates. I feel like people don't think about Hobby Lobby for, like, a lot of their kitchen items. But they're really adding a lot of that in this year, I've noticed. I loved these really cute, like, paint splatter metallic-y pastel placemats. These are really beautiful and unique and kind of modern looking. But they had so many cute kitchen items and these mugs. Oh my gosh, I wanted them all, but I didn't need them. But I wanted them all and I thought the little ones were so cute for little kids for like hot chocolate or something. I don't know. They were adorable. Um, but they had like all those little trays and just cleaning stuff. Like if pastel is your dreams, like I wanted one of these bread boxes. If I had the room, I would have gotten one. But along that aisle, they also had a ton of like kitchen, like makers and um, like egg stuff and like tons of like kitchen appliances. I mean, they're really broadening the horizons. Um, they had adorable placemats. I love placemats. I feel like no one uses them anymore as far as like little plastic ones for kids. These donut ones were adorable. We ended up changing them and going with the strawberry ones that I'm about to show you. But they had a bunch of different kinds. So if placemats are your thing, check out Hobby Lobby because they're kind of hard to find. Um, but they had, once again, like matching towels and just so many kitchen things. I love the idea of doing like a sunshine box or like to brighten someone's day when they're going through a rough period. And Hobby Lobby has everything so color coded that you could easily buy a bunch of yellow stuff. I think sunshine boxes are just a bunch of different yellow things. But if you, you know, they have like a favorite type of thing, like a bunch of these strawberry things would make someone so happy or just little baskets. It's easy, so easy to coordinate gift baskets at Hobby Lobby because of like how they organize stuff. They also had a bunch of their barbecue stuff and summer stuff out, which is great for Father's Day. I know that's sinking way far ahead, but guys, I'm telling you, this is how my mind works. I always shop ahead. Um, tons of cute avocado stuff and like look at these like little wooden bago camping things i will probably go back and get these placemats for the summertime so we have those but it ended up going the strawberries right now because it's kind of like fun and fresh and cute but the summer ones are coming or those one bago ones are coming for summer they also are adorable like themed stuff like I love these Star Wars mugs for like my brother and my husband they love Star Wars and I thought they were so freaking cute <laughs> but for like little valentines and look popcorn makers I mean they had so many different things I always actually go here for my party decor um for like I'll show you in just a second they also like a little glam leopard section I love that little art piece right there that wall art I thought was really cute for like an office um 
and they also had these really cool bag clips. They like you like uh, they expand like the tongues are like elastic and you kind of open them and then you tighten them around the bag as you can see on that picture. And they were so cute. They had pot watchers and like little egg cookers, scoops. I mean, I didn't know they had so many kitchen gadgets. I don't know if that's like a new thing that they're doing or not, but they're so cute and they're like all like eclectic and fun for people that like fun gifts like that. Like that's totally up my alley. I would love so many of those things, but they're fun ideas for little gifts. Um, but like all of that stuff right there, easy to make like that sunshine box so you can just grab some yellow or whatever. But I use so many of those things like those little cups up there from my daughter's fiesta birthday party when she turned one. Like they do a lot of really inexpensive options and they're super cute and fun and colorful. And I love that about Hobby Lobby. And I don't think a lot of people think about that. Like I said with the kitchen stuff, but maybe that's just me and everybody knows. I loved this. This was so cute. I think it's for like forks and stuff um, and knives if you put it out for parties, which would be perfect. But I think it'd also be really perfect for makeup brushes like on your vanity. It was so cute and it wasn't that expensive. And of course, I loved all of their little signs and wall art. And they had a lot of really small ones this year, little frames as like, so you can see that had like just cute little messages in them. I loved them. I think they'd be perfect for a desk. Um, at your work or if you're a teacher or whatnot or even like on your home office. I just thought they were really cute and they were really, really cheap. Um, and of course the farmhouse stuff is still alive and well at Hobby Lobby. They were still adding a lot of the stuff. Um, as you can see there's a lot of empty spaces but I really liked these monogram mugs. I thought that they were really sweet and perfect for the farmhouse vibe. I feel like their spring decor is all farmhouse pretty much. Um, so if that is your vibe, go there. Tapestries, once again, they make a great tapestries that are really inexpensive and like macrame stuff. Normally this stuff can get really pricey, but Hobby Lobby always has them and they're on sale right now for 40% off. I'm now looking at the rainbow one right there. That would be perfect for a nursery room if you're having a rainbow baby. I didn't even notice it when I was there. We also got this memorial stone for my dad for my mom's garden and I just, I don't know, it was really sweet and I just wanted to share that with you. They also have a ton of new pillows. I feel like they completely updated just about every part of their store and they have a ton of really, really cute pi pillows. A lot of these gave me like boss babe girl vibes and stuff for like a home office and stuff or like your first apartment if you have like a really girly area or like a kid's room. Um, they weren't very gender neutral, but I mean, they did have some gender neutral items, um, but they were still really, really cute. And I love like all those emerald, like jade tones and jewel tones. I think they're really pretty gemstone colors, gem cook tones, whatever, you know what I'm talking about. I love those as well. And of course, they also normally bring out a lot of new big signage. And the reason that I like this is because all of like the spring stuff is all 40% off and a lot of them um, are really perfect to like kind of update your living room area or wherever if you need a big piece but don't want to spend like hundreds of dollars because they can get so in or so expensive but you can update a piece for like 40 bucks or 30 bucks and just put it on a mantle or above your bed they have so many really cute items right now I didn't even show you the half of it I felt like this video was gonna be so long if I kept showing you stuff but they had tons of really cute things even stuff for your patio and just like odds and ends man Hobby Lobby has just been hitting the nail on the head this year they have so many cute stuff so if you're looking to like update definitely go now because I feel like a lot of their stuff is so neutral for the seasons we also managed to shop at some Walmart for a little bit I didn't find a whole lot of Valentine's Day stuff but I did find these Valentine's for the kids that they were so cute like a little Lego bin these were only 98 cents and I thought those would be adorable to give away for Valentine's as well as these like little mini paint sets and they're actually like working you just like watercolors i thought those those like blew my mind i thought those were so cute and they're so inexpensive and it's better than just like a little card valentine or stuff i don't know they add a little extra fun they had squishies they had a ton of stuff i'm totally the extra mom who goes like crazy about this type of stuff they had hand sanitizers i made homemade bows last year i'm it's just so stupid but i enjoy that stuff they also had a bunch of teacher gifts because teacher appreciation is starting to come around the corner so they had a lot of really cute teacher stuff also for teacher valentines if you like to do that as well 
And most of our Valentine's stuff was really picked over and just a lot of bare space. I've seen so many different um, bloggers and Instagrammers and YouTubers show so many more stuff that they had at Walmart. But for me, we didn't have, get a whole lot this year and none of the stuff like really blew my mind. I did like um, these little heart mugs. I wish I ended up getting one. I may go back. I think they're really cute and fun. I didn't get one that day, but they may be all gone by now. They also had really cute heart little plates that I'm about to show you for like a split second. Um, and I kind of wish I got those too. These are really cute. They have little Shakespeare quotes on um, some of them and just like different sweet little things that weren't overly Valentine's like I've said before. If you want something that's not wow red and pink and stuff. Um, but they have little gift sets and you know this stuff. But those plates, super cute. I didn't get them. Um, also, I don't know what these Star Wars mugs or Star Wars mugs keep getting me, but they're so cute. I don't know. I'm just so attracted. They had like Darth Vader, R2, D2, Chewie, um, and then they also had little Minnie and Mickey, and they were adorable. And I also wanted to show you this because I tell this to you guys every single year when I do my Christmas gift guide, but now is the time to start thinking about next year because all of their stuff is on clearance. All of their Christmas stuff is all on sale. So if you have birthdays coming up, Valentine's Day options, I know it's seems crazy but if you want to save some money this is a good idea to start thinking about that and maybe finding snagging a couple items um now because everything is crazy All right, like guys, that. so we are back it is a new day <laughs> it is many new days from when i actually filmed the in-store shop with me and we're going to show you what i got i actually ended up going back multiple different times since then because the first time i went they didn't have everything out the second time i went nothing was on sale the third time i went i feel like i was missing some things and I finally went the fourth time and I got everything that I wanted and everything was on sale. And so I'm going to show you everything I got. <laughs> um, everything pretty much is from Hobby Lobby besides one item. I did show you some stuff from Walmart. Um, I didn't show you anything from Target or anything like that. But honestly, I feel like Hobby Lobby had the best to offer this year. Um, and of course, like I never spend full price. Everything right now, Valentine's is 40% off. I never will buy stuff full price unless I have to absolutely have that item. And I know it's not on sale. I will use the 40% off coupon code that you can find on your phone or the app I'm um, really fast if you're in the store but honestly like I will never buy anything full price unless I absolutely have to um, or I feel like it's like not even that big of a deal to spend full price okay so the first item I'm showing you is like the only item that I got from Target this year they had some cute stuff but I honestly wasn't super like astounded or flabbergasted by any of the stuff they really had this year I only got this which is this really cute little towel set um, it says love on it and this is a pot holder and it has little hearts that are like um, rubberized and it's super cute this was three dollars um, honestly I you guys laughed at the, <laughs> you guys laughed at this and when I got my Christmas video what I got for Christmas video I got a towel and you guys say you do this all the time too is like you have towels that are for do not use and this will definitely be one that is a do not use towel it's embroidered and it would just get hurt and yucky really fast so I will probably just pop that right there on that bar cart handle and then I will use this in the kitchen um, but I think these are actually really nice like little Valentine's for teachers and stuff like that if you want to get something for your kids teachers but don't want to spend a lot of money I think that they're really cute they have a lot of different options but honestly other than that there wasn't a whole lot from Target that I was just blown away by this year. All right, starting with Hobby Lobby, the two things that I got first, these are not really Valentine's Day things, but they are in the spring shop and everything in the spring shop right now is 40% off as well. And I got these because they will go in my kids' Valentine's Day, like gift baskets or love baskets. If you don't know, I do pretty much a gift guide for every single um, kid video and opportunity holiday and stuff like that. So I do Easter and Valentine's Day and their birthdays and Christmas and my Valentine's Day one is coming up. So stay tuned. I know a lot of you guys just subscribed to me for my gift guides. Um, and I have two from the past two years, but this year's one is coming up. Um, but these will go with it. I just love placemats. We use them all the time. They're a fun way for the kids to kind of have like decorations for them. They keep our table from getting super yucky. And I liked the strawberries. They're really fun and exciting for like spring and summertime and these were only $1.99 with 40% off and they also had a lot of different patterns they had really cute donut ones they had like RV camper Winnebago ones um, but I just really like the strawberry ones because they're just fun and festive and cute and these will be good not just for Valentine's Day but like through the season 
Another thing I got for my kids was this really cute little heart banner. I love these like little banners. I have these all over my house and I get so many of them from Hobby Lobby. Um, but I like to put little things on their door. I love for them to get to feel like they get to decorate too. My mom was always big at decorating for every single holiday, even Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day. And so I want to keep that spirit alive too. It's something that I loved and know my kids love and I want them to be able to have like little decorations for themselves. So this will go on the outside of their door and it just says, oh my heart, this is $3.99. 40% off um, but it was really cute they have a bunch of different designs my kids like this one the best and this is the one that they picked so this is the one that's going on their door but I just think it's really cute and it's like fun without being overly Valentine's in your face the next thing I got were actually for my mantle um, I got these little heart these little wooden heart um, little guys little wooden de decorations these were only $2.99 and they came in a bunch of colors I got the red one and I also got a black one and I'm just putting them on my mantle to kind of add some Valentine's Day touches without like going overboard I'm really excited they're bringing more like actual Valentine's Day decor in stores that isn't like overly cheesy like Valentine's Day party with like foil tinsel and stuff like that I like like substantial decorations I think these are really cute they go really well with my color theme for my decorations I do a lot of like traditional reds and blacks and stuff like that um, but they do have pinks as well and I just think they're really cute and these are good to put on like to your trays or mantles or in your kitchen or just little places that you want to like have little pops of Valentine's without going overboard so I got these two for my mantle like I said they were $2.99 I got one of these little houses. I actually ended up getting two of these. These always sell out really fast. They normally bring out like a different one every season. For the fall, I got one and it was like a little teal truck with pumpkins in the back and they light up and they're super, super cute. I love them. They have like little heart decorations. It's totally like washing out because it's white. But there's a little red heart on the door. So adorable. They do have a bigger size. I liked the smaller size because I'm not going to lie. I loved the red heart and the bigger one didn't have a red heart. Um, but I just think they're really cute. And once again, these are like a little small compact things to decorate with that aren't overly Valentine's Day. Um, and these were only $2.99 as well. And they were also 40% off. Um, everything I'm just going to show you is 40% off. But I just love them. I thought they were so cute. I ended up getting another one in there and I don't know if I'm going to use both of them, one on the mantle, one on the bar card, or if I'm going to give one to my mom as a little Valentine gift, but I love them and I think they're so cute. And definitely get your hands on them now because these ones um, always sell out every single season. And I think for Christmas they had little trees and I these were already going really fast every time I went. I also got this cute little pedestal. Um, I, these are like so popular and I never know how to use these, but I just thought it was so cute. It's just a little red heart and I love them and it's a little mini one. It was only $2.99 and I think I'm gonna put it on my bar cart with either one of the little houses on top or something. I don't really know. I don't have a tiered tray. I don't have room enough for our very small apartment for that, um, but I just thought it was so cute and I couldn't resist it. So I got this and I do believe that these come in a bunch of different colors. So for my girls, I want them to have a little couple decorations in their room. So I picked a couple of like kid-friendly Valentine's Day decor and I found these like little wooden um, pieces again. And the this is a cute little truck that says loads of love and it's super cute and girly and fun for them. It's not breakable. And if you watched my five-year-old's birthday haul, she wanted, um, birthday gift guide, she wanted a shelf for her birthday. She wanted a shelf so she can put decorations on it and be fun and I don't know. That was her big thing she really wanted. So we've been decorating them throughout um, all of the seasons for Christmas. She had fun Christmas decorations on and now we're gonna do Valentine's Day. So we have this cute little um, heart car little guy and then we also found this little llama which is also cute they have a bunch of little llama actual like figurines and statues but they were a bit more expensive and i just love like the care cartoony kind of aspect of this one really cute once again these were only 3.99 super inexpensive and i think these will look really cute on her little shelf and then to go in the middle of that, I got this adorable little love sign. This is like ceramic porcelain, so this is definitely breakable, but her shelf is high enough where she can't really reach it. This was only $4.99, of course, 40% off of that. Um, but I really liked it because it's still kind of cartoonish and look really cute with the other two um, with the little statues that I got for them. And I think this will just like add a little bit of extra something on there and I love it. I think it's really cute. So underneath the shelf that my daughter got, I put three little hooks to go underneath it to hang um, like little fun things for Christmas. We hung ornaments. So I found these at Hobby Lobby and they're just like galvanized little hearts and then with little wooden hearts to go in the middle. Um, and they had them in three different colors. So I got the um, white, the red, and the pink. 
and we're just gonna hang them side by side they are really big though so that's my only concern is that they didn't really have like smaller little hearts to hang everything that they had was smaller was a little bit cheesier looking and I liked these but they may be too big so we're gonna have to test that theory I'm gonna film the whole like where I'm decorating and everything um, like a decorate with me at the end because I don't have a whole lot of decorations so it doesn't constitute for one whole video so you'll see how it looks at the end but I do really like these and I think they're cute and I think they would be cute across the mantle kind of like a faux garland in a way I love doing that um, just like hanging little things uh, along the mantle because I think it just adds a little something something and it's kind of like a garland without actually having a garland so we're gonna hang those on the bottom of her shelf hopefully they look okay but like I said these were just $2.99 each and then the 40% off the last thing I got was this little um, sign and it's not technically Valentine's Day it's actually spring it was in the spring shop it's like little green tag it was $17.99 but everything from the spring shop is also 40% off but it just says PS I love you and I just thought it was unique and really really cute and it's not overly obviously super Valentine-y there's no hearts on it and something that you can keep up like year-round or just for the spring or summer or what have you but I just really like it I think this is gonna go on my bar cart um, and if you found like a little heart to hang like over here here or something that would look really cute I really really liked this one and I just thought it was a little bit unique and if you don't like super Valentine Day items I think this is a really good option that's not overly Valentine-y this is the last thing I got it says I love us and it's super super cute it was only a dollar 99 and I think this will look really cute with the PS I love you sign or just a little place on the mantle or my bar card or if you have like a three-tiered tray I think this is really cute they had a bunch of different sayings and a bunch of different ones all right, so that's everything I got. So let's get all the decorations together and just start decorating so I can show you how it all turned out. It's all in the ebb and flow If I had to, I could go it alone But I don't ever need to Because I have a home Somewhere to run to I could live alone in the woods Not a single sound But I would never feel alone Because you've become my step backwards that's what it takes to grow one life left is another that's just starting and that's just the way it goes if I had to I could go alone but I don't ever need to because I have a home someone to run to I could Single cell 